Hello. In this tutorial, I would like to talk about workflows inside UV Desk and how they operate in the back end also. So this is my fresh installation of UV Desk on my localhost. And if you scroll down, you shall find workflows inside the pro productivity area. Click on workflows. And now it will lead you to this page. Now, uh, when you have installed UV Desk, you are presented with default, uh, all the pre-generated workflows, such as customer created, agent created, all the way to customer replied on ticket, and you are more than free to create your own workflow. So let's create a new workflow right over here. And when you do create a new workflow, keep in mind you do have to give a name and a description for the workflow, and the workflow sh shall be operatable if it is active so when you do create a new workflow please click workflow is active right over here now the main focus the main function of the workflows is that for every event there is an action that will get fired and for those events you can also have conditions say uh, you only want the action to be fired when a customer's email is equal to john at gmail.com so the event over here or I mean the action over here will only be fired on the event given the condition that the customer email is equal to john at gmail.com so that's one uh, more uh, specifications uh, you can do with the workflows. Now let's look at events, shall we? Now for this example, we shall take a customer entity, for example, and we have all of these customer events that are associated with the customer entity. So let's look inside the code and see where all this is coming from. So this is my UV desk project. Now, if you go down and you click on vendors, you open up the vendor directory, you go down, open up the UV desk directory, and access the core framework bundle. You go down, and here you shall find workflows. Now, you open up workflows, the main two sub uh, directories that you shall be pre presented with. Are actions and events and like I said uh, previously for every event that happens there is a generate there is an action that gets fired so let's look at events so over here in the events subdirectory you are given three entities now let's focus on the customer entity for this given example so we have a customer create, customer delete, customer forgot, password, and customer update event. Just and those four things are being pre presented in the drop down options right over here. So let's look at the code inside <coughs> these given events for the customer entity. So for the update, we have the get ID function which returns the dynamic ID of the customer, the description, customer update. This is what is being displayed right here, customer update. And the functional group. So we can see that the functional functional group for this particular event is with the customer entity. Now let's look at the create event, same scenario over here, update event same scenario over here and the forgot password event same scenario over here but in this instance uh, there is no use for the customer dynamic ID now let's look at actions so we are in this particular workflow fo folder we are given with three actions related to a specific entity We'll look at the mail customer action. Well, let's look at the fr front end, shall we? So, once we have picked our event, we have set the condition. 
like for example what I showed you previously we only want the action to be triggered on the condition that the customer email is, is equal to john at gmail.com so we this is the action right here mail to customer and these are all the email templates that are being loaded right here so let's look at the code this is the description right over here that is being returned mail to customer as it is being displayed right here mail to customer we have this function that returns the dynamic ID of the customer and we have the main function right over here apply actions but uh, right over here the get options this function is what returns all the options you are presented with right over here and these are by the way email templates uh, after I get done talking about workflows I'll talk a, a little bit about email templates also just for your understanding so all the email templates are being returned from the UV desk core framework bundle repository email templates and the function apply action over here well it just gets the email templates and, and the relating data and then it sends a message to the said customer so now let's look at email templates for a little, little bit email templates you go down and email templates are located inside the settings area now on a fresh installation of UV desk just like there are uh, pre-existing default workflows there are already pre-existing default email templates so let's say a uh, customer account created let's edit that so we can look at what exactly is going on behind the scenes uh, when you do create a new email template you do have to provide the name the subject uh, the template for whether it's for a ticket or whether it is for a user so in this instance it is for a user and this is the body so these are uh, uh, all the dynamic variables so this is what is presented on the front end of the email templates and now if we look at the repository email templates repository and this repository directory is also located inside the core framework bundle of the UV desk open source project so here it here it is these are the main functions that returns the email templates So one main function to return all the email templates in a JSON format so in this tutorial I have talked about workflows and how they work behind the scenes and the main issue re relating with the workflows are just events and actions and how you can even specify the, the events more depending on particular uh, uh, conditions. Thank you very much.